Ever since people first began gathering around campfires for protection against the night and to share stories, we have been especially attracted to those stories without a logical explanation. Ghost stories, if you will. Tales of unique sightings and strange experiences, inexplicable happenings. These unusual occurrences can happen anywhere and at any time. Even the Cherokee Nation Capital Complex in Tahlequah has been subject to such experiences. Tales such as a little girl that wanders the hallway visiting certain areas in the building have been the conversation of many employees down through the years. Cherokee Nation employees Nissy Blossom, Brenda Butler, and Dennis Sixkiller all recall happenings that were perhaps just the other side of ordinary. I was working in college resources, higher ed at that time. Uh, we were in the back. Uh, I was working late to get some stuff done and just working away and didn't think anything of it. And I'm not sure about what time. I know it was after work. And the door slammed, the front door, just, and it's the inside door. It opens from the inside and that just slammed and it's a hardwood door. And I just kind of jumped a little bit, kind of looked around and, you know, you get that feeling that's, that's not right or what and so I got up and I thought well maybe it might be just a housekeeper you know and I went and looked out there and just got a weird feeling so I just went back to my desk I don't remember even clocking out or anything I just grabbed my stuff what I need and just got out the door because it just you know kind of freaked me out a little bit <laughs> I was working I went to the restroom that's right across from Cherokee first. And I know no one walked in, because I, I would have heard if someone walked in. And then just all of a sudden, I just heard this sound. It was like when a child has been crying really, really hard. And then they just stop and to catch their breath. Just <gasps> like that. That was what I heard. And it was, a, it was a kid voice. I mean, and I only heard it one time. I've seen kids cry like that before, and they just cry so hard, and they just want to stop to catch their breath, and <gasps> that was what I heard. And I came out, and nobody was in there, and and uh, I just went on back to work. A few years ago, there's a guy that just getting ready to go home. He's going out the front door, and uh, there's a little girl following him, and uh, he noticed, and when he went to go open the front door, he opened the door for her and he turned around and she was gone. And I think he said he'd never moved so fast in all his life as he was going out the door. <laughs> Strange experiences can happen, like the stories we just heard. Coincidence, maybe, but perhaps when the lights are low and the night is still, all the necessary conditions may converge at one time and you too may hear or see something unique, disquieting, seemingly inexplicable, something more of the next world than of this.